Welcome to MMA Dogs. My name is Hector, and this is my dog, Dan. Hey, guys. We want to thank you for tuning in. If you haven't already had a chance to do so, subscribe to our channel. That way you get an instant notification in your inbox letting you know that we uploaded the latest UFC prediction video for the next card with MMA betting strategy. Dan? Please check out our website also, MMADogs.com. That's M-M-A-D-A-W-G-S.com. There we have our proven track record, our betting strategy, and also other helpful links including our podcast which can be found on iTunes. Don't, Don't forget to subscribe. subscribe. UFC 160, the championship of the world heavyweights, Cain Velasquez takes on Bigfoot Silva in their second match. I am really excited for this main event. I can't wait for it, and I'll give you guys our prediction here. But first, let's take a look at Cain Velasquez's last two fights, and then we'll take a look at Bigfoot. So most recently, Cain Velasquez won the belt. He beat Junior Dos Santos um, in a one-sided decision. And then in his fight before that, he beat Bigfoot via TKO punches. For Bigfoot, most recently, he upset Overeem, knocked him out. In his fight before that, he upset Travis Brown, beat him via TKO. So right off the bat, Bigfoot Silva is the upset special. This guy goes in there, you know, people count him out. They say, this guy's not going to win. He's slow. He's this. He's that. And he just goes in there and does what he needs to do to win. And uh, you got to take your hat off to a guy like that. I mean, this guy is talented. He's a black belt in jiu-jitsu, black belt in judo. So BJJ black belt, I mean, just a skilled guy. He's got knockout power. Uh, but if you take a look at his most recent fight with Overeem, he is slow. He And not only that, but he's a slow starter. The first round was all Overeem. Second round was Overeem. It just looked like Bigfoot, you know, just didn't have anything. And in the third round, he comes out. Now, I will say this. He did look, he did, his cardio did look improved. Um, it looked improved because usually come the third round, you know, a big heavyweight, slow heavyweight like himself, he's not going to have anything. But he had that, that knockout in him. And uh, so props to him for that. Now, if Bigfoot Silva wants to pull off another upset, you know, another upset, if he wants to do that, his third upset, and this is a big if, and if if was the fifth, we'd all be drunk. <laughs> so this is a big if. He's got to go in there and knock out. The reigning, defending, heavyweight champion of the world named Kane Brown Pride Velasquez. <laughs> and I don't think he's going to do that, but we shall see. Now, with Kane Velasquez, we have an excellent fighter, excellent wrestler, hard worker, trains at AKA with Daniel Cormier, Javier Mendez, and all those beasts up there. Very determined. You can see he lost his belt, came back. Beat up Bigfoot TKO'd him and then took the belt from uh, from Junior Dos Santos in a very one sided match. I mean, this this was an upset. He was the underdog there, so uh, you know, excellent fighter. Um, and we can't forget the first fight. I mean, I can't forget the first fight. It was a one sided beating. I mean, Bigfoot looked like something out of a movie. It's like a bloody mess. I mean, just just the domination. And uh, for Cain Velasquez, it's going to be the exact same game plan. Ground and pound, defend his belt, and uh, I truly believe um, that Cain Velasquez is going to be the heavyweight champion for a while. It's not going to be the last fight we see where he defends that belt, and I think he's a guy who takes his fights very seriously, very very serious about his career. He's married, has has a little girl. I mean, just just a, just you can tell this guy is determined to be the champ, and I think he's going to hold on to it for a while. Now, if you're wondering, it's going to be. Cain Velasquez via TKO, five stars in the confidence pick, minus 600. So that implies an 86% chance of winning, which, to be quite honest, is not only accurate, but that's a fair, uh, you know, percentage, 86% that he wins this fight. Um, so minus 600. I do like the bet. I do like it. I like it in a straight bet. So uh, not only that, but also in a parlay. That's my confidence level in Cain Velasquez beating up Bigfoot. 
Now let's see what my dog Dan has to say. Yeah, dog, this fight looks awesome. And I really hope it, it goes down differently than the last time it happened. You know, you can't count Bigfoot Silva out of out of any any fight. You know, they counted him out in against Fedor and he won. Yep. Uh, a lot of people picked against him against Travis Brown, he won. Everybody picked against him against over him, except for me and a few others, mm-hmm. and he still won. Yep. So yeah, he, he, he was losing the uh, the first round in that fight. But or the first and second round, but it wasn't that one sided. It was just kind of like Overeem was going to win a decision, but it was wasn't all that exciting. But you know what? He came in through and he just showed that he has that that knockout power late later in the fight, and um, that's something that Kane is going to have to uh, to work on. Now with Kane, you're looking at the guy who's got one loss his entire career, and he lost after coming off of injury and a huge like one plus year layoff. So you can't really blame the guy for losing the fight, especially since he already won the belt back from the guy who took it from him. But I see this fight going similar to the first fight, but I see Bigfoot surviving the first round to lose later in the fight. It probably won't go to a decision. I'm going to say round four. I'm going to say round four. I'm going to say Bigfoot survives three rounds, and then finally, ultimately, just Kane's too much for him. And uh, gets the ground and pound and, and gets the uh, the stoppage. So I'm really looking forward to to going to Las Vegas and, and seeing this fight. I'm gonna say four stars that we are gonna see the Mexican Cane Saw Massacre Part Two. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, dog. It's almost as if if my if the if was a fifth, we'd all be drunk. So it's funny as that. So there you have it, folks. It's unanimous. MMA dogs have spoken. Cain Velasquez will remain the heavyweight champion of the world. And we are both really excited. We'll, we'll be there. UFC 160 in Vegas. We'll be there. Can't wait for that. Thank you guys for watching. Whether you're a Bigfoot fan, whether you're a Cain Velasquez fan, thank you for watching. Either way, leave a comment. Tell us where you're from. Subscribe to our channel. And thank you for tuning in.